Hi all, welcome to the Urbi Academy. Today we are going to discuss the one important topic is subquery in SQL. What exactly the subquery? Subquery is a query that is nested within the under query and it is also known as nested query or inner query. Okay, let us jump on to the how the logic is going to work here. Uh, see, the, this is the one outer query will be there and air condition it will be there and uh, after that inner query it will be there and uh, today we are going to discuss the two important example those examples are find the second highest salary in the sql from the employee table and find the employees whose salary is greater than average salary okay the first we'll see like the find the second highest salary in the SQL from the employee table. What is the employee table is? Let me show you the what the employee table will contains. The employee table will contains the employee ID, first name, last name, department ID, salary, hire date and city. And you can see the salary column here. It contains the all the salaries of the employee. The requirement is that we need to point out the second highest salary. You can see here the first highest salary is 73,000 and second highest salary is the 70,000. The What is the problem statement? Problem statement is find the second highest salary in the SQL from employee table. Output should be maximum salary 70,000. Okay. And first let us solve this and after that we'll see for the next one. Okay. Go back here go back here okay let us start writing the query find the second highest salary in the employee okay so we have the employees table okay uh, here you can see the employees table table name is employee and the salary okay let us write it okay select okay let's start select max salary from employees okay and where salary is less than for the always always for the inner query it will be in the parenthesis okay i will take the this only i'll put it in the parenthesis i will i will explain you what exactly it is going to do okay and and the first this is the inner query right this is the inner query what it is going to do and it is going to fetch the first maximum salary first maximum salary is as from this 73000 uh, 73, it is there okay you can see it here Okay, 73,000 it is the second highest salary we need to find out. Okay, and here less than 73,000 is the next number is 70,000 only. It is going to display that from whatever the records it will be pending now. From that, it is going to pick up two way. I am going to explain, and before that, uh, you need to have the this employee data in your system, and for this, I am going to give you this record also. I have the create table, create a statement. You can see it here. Let me take create statement. Go here. First, create a on database. Create database batch six and table has been created. I am going to use that database only. Use batch six database okay and now you can repress it i am using the mysql database okay there is a node tables here okay and i am going to create the employee table employee table contains employee id first name last name department id salary hire date and city okay and respect to or data types i have used okay and you no need to bother about that in in detail we are going to learn in the sql course okay and execute this and zero rows affected and i am going to insert the records now here okay and uh, let me get the 
insert statement here. Insert into employees, employee ID and first name and all the columns, whatever the columns I have created now, around 10 records, I'm going to insert it. Take that insert statement and here, put it and control enter, shortcut, okay? And see here, and 10 rows has been affected, okay? Repress it and table has came and employ, we can see it here. Select, start from EMP, em, employees, okay? Employees, the 10 record came, right? So now we'll start writing the query for this, okay? So here we'll write the query, okay? Uh, we have already written the query here, right? So let me take this query and put it there. And what the inner query is uh, displaying here is, let me show you that. It should be the 73,000, 73,000, okay? And less than 73,000, the next number is, you can see like the 70,000, okay? I will show you that uh, order, order by, order by salary, salary. DESC. See here, first 73,000, second highest cell is 70,000. Okay, like this only it is going to be. Now, I am going to show you another way. In the interviewer, they are, you, even though if you tell the one answer, they will ask you to, can you tell us the another way? Okay, for this, I am going to show you the another way how we can achieve this. Okay, and for this, write a query select salary. From employees table and uh, it is not the this one from I need to write the inner query in the from only okay in the bracket select salary salary from employees okay and order order by salary, order by salary, it should be in descending, by default it is been ascending, okay, and name the uh, table as E, okay, and let me uh, decrease the point here, okay, so that it is easy for you. Okay. And order by salary. Order by salary. And here I am going to take descending only two records. I am going to take it here. Limit I am using. And here also limit one. This is a very, very important entry questions, guys. Okay. And now uh, what I am doing here, I am taking the two records only, two records. What are the two records here? These are the two records I am patching here. Okay, I will show you that. Okay. And two records I am patching. Okay. Uh, get this query. Okay. And put it, uh, go to the MySQL. Okay, let me uh, run the inner query here. Okay, first, whenever the in the sub queries, the first inner query is going to run, then outer query is going to run. The inner query is going to give the output data result set. Okay, and see here, what record I am getting? The 73 and 70,000. Okay, and once uh, ascending order if come outside, order by salary, if it come outside, it will become 70,000. So, uh, uh, like the so, uh, 70,000 and 73 out of the uh, two records, it is going to, I'm going to pick the one record here. Okay. And you can see it here. So I got the 70,000 and what is the expected output is 70,000 only. Okay. Now let us move on to the second uh, problem statement. What is the second problem statement here? Find the employees whose salary is greater than average salary. 
and uh, if i pound the average salary i will tell you and output output should look like this okay and output should be look like this they are expecting now we got the 70000 as the output as per their expectation correct and let us move on to the and how we can solve this first whenever the problem bigger problem is there we need to divide that problem into the smaller pieces then we can get the result then club that result so that we can achieve the achieve the result very easily okay let us uh, come to the notepad plus plus here problem is there okay solution first what we have to do find the average salary and how we are going to get the average salary here write the query for this for the employee table select avg average salary that is the aggregate function on which column salary column okay average salary from employees table okay okay let us find out the average what they are saying the solution find the average salary the next step is filter the employees based on the above result set how we are going to find the average salary from the employee table i am already having the employee table right so average salary average salary okay let us find out here what is the average salary get it here what is the average salary it came okay 6090 okay how to find out the all the salary of the employees here is select select star from star from employees okay where salary okay how we can find out this less than average what are the problem statement average salary we have point out they are saying greater than uh, whose salary is greater than average salary they are saying okay not the less than okay please uh, correct that one okay by mistakenly i was, say, I was saying the uh, less than now the employees whose salary is greater than average salary they are find out okay so for to find out that just put the operator greater than operator then put this okay put this okay and to execute it yes we'll get the desired result okay we'll get the desired result you can see it here okay and Houston and uh, all the uh, greater than uh, 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 60,900 only it is their poor records came but in the real time we don't want for example how many records are there in here employee table is okay employee table how many records are there here is so 10 records are there okay for example if I uh, inserted if, if I have inserted the one more record one more record okay let me go ahead and insert the one more record here okay and i will insert like the one more record okay i will show you the where the query is going to manual where the query is going to fail okay and uh, i'm going to insert the one more record okay Okay, I will uh, insert that uh, uh, query and later I will show you once. Let me find out the uh, exact uh, match here. Okay. Mm, okay. So uh, for this uh, to find out from this query, it came right. For this to replace this, okay. Put the parenthesis within parenthesis if you put and it is going to work without manual intervention okay if it is the table data is going to change also it is going to work okay so first query what it will average and average all the employee salary is greater than average salary it is going to give this is the final query guys okay and uh, let me show you that and see and you can cross verify also okay 
and we can check it here. Okay, see here. Three, 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 three. It's coming now. Nah? You can match it. The uh, 70,000, 65,000, all are greater than 69. Okay. For example, if I have not put, if I have not put here, okay, what will happen is if I have only if I have not put this one, okay. For example, if I have put this, okay. Result is coming. For example, if I have inserted if the in the real time, the record will be getting updated every time. Okay. That time, what is happening? I am going to insert the new record into the employee table. Okay, I uh, like the I am going to insert the number John 1, 2, 1. Okay. And uh, uh, okay, and uh, 6, 0. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I will write 80,000 here, 80,000, okay, and um, like the 24, okay, and New York 1, okay, and I'm going to insert the new record. Okay, one record has been inserted, you can see it here, okay, and you can see the employee salary, 80,000, 80,000 first came now, okay, that is the different story, and the 10 records are there. But let us find out the average salary here. Where is the average salary? Earlier, what was the average salary? Earlier, 62,000 62, was there, okay? Earlier, 62,000 was there, okay? Uh, earlier, 60,900 uh, 60, was there. Now, average salary got increased. If I am having the manual, manually, I am doing this, this is the wrong, right? This is the wrong. And this will not give the uh, correct result. Nah? Obviously, okay, let us take this. Let us take and try to do it. See here. And oh, what if the I want the, this is the wrong, right? This is the, uh, mm, See here, in the real time, it is not going to update, right? If uh, already having the, okay. So if it is the, this query is there, okay? What will happen? If it is this query is there, no need to update. If it is the manual means 60,900 only. If it is, okay, I will show you that. Earlier, manual intervention, manual only. It was the record bar. Uh, this only okay 60,900 and if I use this here also by record coming that is well and good but uh, uh, here uh, if the any record changes any record changes during that time the problem will arise okay and always keep in the mind that avoid the manual manual thing so always it should be automated and through the sub query only we need to and uh, Part two of the subquery, I'm going to tell you the types of subqueries only. Okay. If you like this videos, please like, subscribe, and comment on this video, guys. Please share with other friends, and it is going to help for them. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Thank you very much.